Good day and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV. I'm sure a lot of our viewers across the globe are waiting for this moment where we'll be um, trying to get them what we have for them on the show. My name is Muda Shiroshitu. I'll be your anchor for the, the two time we're spending on the show today. And there's something so more I'll be worrisome about um, in the world of um, sport, and that's talking about combining sp um, education with sport. A lot of people think it's an ideal thing to concentrate on just the academics and some saying that um, you can actually do that and a lot of schools um, in, across um, Nigeria are doing so much in sport so it's very possible that you can combine education with sport and both of them, none of them rather, will not suffer um, f any other reasons for for the combination so i have a guest in the house um, who is a softball coach but she has evolved herself in many many schools in the country in the list of the schools um, on her list there are probably up to like six where she teach them several sports especially soft um, softball so um, I, I welcome blessing wogu um, into the studio blessing it's good to have you on the show Uh, blessing is good to have you on the show. I'm sure you can hear us. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Shay. And thank you, Jeff. Okay. Yeah, you, as the topic there says, um, education, combining education with sports, we all know what education is. I all want to, like, recombine it to be talking about skills. You know, when you, I think when you say one needs to be educated, where every mind quickly goes to is the academic as well, so that goes to school. You know, just like the there's no things, the, the uh, how would I put it, no things, the, if, if I forget to use this, uh, like that was the white man's way, that no things is better than you need, you, you need to know just not go out to the of the city. And when you look at sport itself, sport is something that you do, like an exercise, like the, that's the common or the layman explanation to that. So back to what uh, we, we, we want to discuss, so we've got to look at this evening. That you need to combine education with sport to give you the very best, and you're going to bring down the best for any human being. Blessing you. Okay. How uh, do I mean? Yeah. Blessing. Um, let, let me also ask you do you think one will suffer if you, if you do the combination, or you get a perfect result if you combine sport with education? Well, you get a better result. Will you be? Okay, I'm saying with any of them that um, sport and education, will any of them suffer as a result of combining both of them to achieve a result? No, 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 I don't know. So if, if you, if, if you are educated, uh, if you are educated and you are into sport, you want to get the best out of even your education because even why, why doing this sport, why you are into sport, for, for instance, myself, I did, uh, I've been to softball, let me speak from the world, this is, uh, sport is only, I've been to softball for the past 30 years. Hmm. And I'm still into it now. And I'm also, by the God, uh, by the grace of God, I'm also a graduate of the University of Lagos. Okay. So, you know why you bring these two things together? It makes you a better person, you're probably exposed, you're able to do things. You know, the way anybody will come and do things, just the ordinary way, not considering some things, not knowing things that I take up. But when you are well educated or when you are educated, you'll be able to like you know when to cross the key and dot the eye in whatever you are doing, both education and in sports. And you understand that uh, you need to be how will I put it? You need to you, you need to be very respectful. You okay. don't want to get even from, from both. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you Nigerians are at least hearing you across the globe. Continue. Okay. You need you want, when when you are educated and you are into sport, I think you will be the best. Okay. The education thing is there, pushing you, making you understanding things, knowing things, appreciating other people's culture, appreciating other people's traditions, because you are educated. I know these things, I don't need to like, I'm not limited to things like this. And it that brings you the sport aspect of you, mm. that you need to be more interactive. You need to, you know, go see people and appreciate who they are. Okay. No matter how they are level their class, you're able to relate to them properly. And 
So we also want to like, oh, let me come to add my own education with sports and be a better me too. Okay, let, let's see. Is it all schools? I'm sure you have many schools on your list. Um, is it all the schools in the country or do you think all schools are equipped for the combination? Is it the all schools are, are, because you know there are some schools that are not equipped, but I just want to hear your expert opinion on is it all the old schools in the country or is it every school that is equipped enough to ensure that um, a child can combine sports with education? Yeah, for now, looking at things, because when we talk about all schools, we are talking about what the ones from the rural areas and the urban areas. Yes. And looking at some areas, um, I, I want to say, like, I think over 80% of the schools are equipped with both. There are some schools maybe where they find them, themselves, they couldn't like meet up with some certain things. Maybe they're in the riverine areas. When I say riverine, I don't mean just the uh, real riverine areas, not like some states. There okay. are some schools that are like that, but they have what it takes. But there are some environments that actually they cannot just absorb some part of it. But I think over 80% of schools in Nigeria, yes, are quickly hope. Okay, now, now you are you are, you are a softball coach and you have many schools on your list that you go teach them softball and other sports. From that experience, do you think the kids, the children, uh, the students are going to give 100% of both of them? Yeah, let me tell you the first secondary school we have in Nigeria, so much too. Okay. They, I also think the school for um, baseball. Okay. They are known as CMS Gombat. I know when somebody says they're best, you can imagine what they do. They are the best when it comes they, they are one of the best when it comes to education. I would have used the word best, but they are the best or let me put it that way. Why am I saying so when it comes to music, CMS comes first. Hmm. When it comes to when it comes to um quiz, CMS comes first. When it comes to debate, CMS comes first. And when it comes to sports, the same thing. So if you don't have those things, and you are, what, one good thing about it is that most of these people that are into sports are also these people that are performing very, very well. Hmm. Like I speak with you, one of my players in CMS, a good big, uh, baseball player, he even for the first time CMS is having a junior student to be a prefect, the, uh, the organ prefect, organist, or uh, the organist in charge of the organ. I don't know the, I know the music, I'm not, in, uh, I'm not into music, so I don't really know much okay. about how to the name. This guy is in jail too, and he's already a prefect in that kind of school. I know um, Chile is a school of great standards hmm. within an outside. Hmm. So if you can have somebody like that, still deep into baseball, still deep into sports, and academically is still balanced. So you find that if you bring these two things together, you're going to bring the very best out of any person. Like this added those days, I don't know if you see in both lands, okay. they all work and no play. Make that a dumb boy. Yes. And that's what you just to By the time they do this part, it means that we well focused and at the same time it sharpens their brain. It makes them understand some things physically, that are practically. They, you, you know, when you go and do something practically, it gives you the best understanding that when you just written that the, the historical aspect of it. So Scott brings too many things to the best of you in you okay. out to stand your academic. That will boost your finances too. Okay. So, um, blessed yeah. to, the, to the next question. I'm sure a lot of people are agreeing to your opinion. But what are the challenges you think a child, yes, that started spot early, a pupil, a student, teenager that is combining sport with education? What challenges do you think they'll be facing? Because obviously, Combining sports education will not come with ease. What are the challenges do you think these kids are facing? Because I've, I've seen you so many kids, um, children, adults, um, teenagers in different schools. What do you think are the challenges for that person or group of persons that are combining sports with education? What are the challenges that they'll be facing? Okay, I think the question is the challenges the, the students will be facing combining both together. Yes. Right? Okay, one of the, um, at that stage, so since we are looking more into the high school students, one of the challenges might be from their immediate home. 
Okay. When they say that, there are some people that believe that if they are high, they do a doctor, lawyer, engineer, no other thing. Even if the court is trying to bring out the best from that person, the most current seems to take it to, you know, the, the person is not too serious. But there are some times when you sit them down to talk with them, you can say, okay, if this could happen this way, let's give it a try. So I think that's the very first challenge the person, the, the student is going to face. But I'm telling you from experience. And I want to also say that this challenge has even turned to something better to convince some parents to able to advise their or encourage their other children to come on board. Hmm. I have some, uh, I have like two students that uh, when they got to senior class, you know, that's where you like depart and go to either friends, art, uh, commercial, or whatever class you want to go to. And this particular person has called and said, see, um, my child is supposed to be XYZ, and I think it's because of the sport, he's trying to dodge out. Hmm. And by the time I sat the boy down, and the boy said, yes, he wanted to, this is what they asked him to do, but look at what he's doing. That this is what he thinks he will do more. But I want to be a professional person in the field of baseball is into. What I did, I called my son, an engineer, who is also a very, a, 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 a very good sportsman. I'm not going to make him. And I took him to that school. He do coach alongside with me. And I told him, I said, see, um, take this down for the math. And my son did. And the guy was like, ah, uh, coach, how are you copying with Sodom? I said, see, I'm an engineer. And this was, I'm not making it. So since you, you know it's time, you do this. Your mom has said, why don't you go that way? Hmm. And the boy came back to me and said, Ma, I'm going to continue. I want to be like uh, your son. I want to be like the engineer. And I called the mom. And the mom said, uh, what magic did I use? I said, nothing. You need to see some things fixed, Charlie. Hmm. And the guy, the mom even have to tell the child, come, you must go into softball. While your brother is in there, but you must play softball. Okay. Yeah, well, a lot of people are agreeing to your... <laughs> To your opinion, but is this combination is it for all students? Do you think so? Is there every student that can have the energy or the charisma or whatever qualities they need to have? Do you think it's all of them that can have it to combine it? Or sport and education is for a particular set of um, students, or it's for everybody? They can do it, they can manage it, or like I said, is it for every um, student? Uh, sports should be for everyone. I don't the expert to be for everyone. Then sports, you know, we have uh, different fields. We have all uh, our different areas of interest. Yes. There are some people that will tell you. Like when I was explaining something to you concerning music, mm. I know um, organists is those that handle the organ, but I was just trying to say that I don't know the real name for, you know, like the preference, what the title will be, the okay. portfolio, what it's going to be. So okay. for me, when it comes to that, like when I was in high school, for instance, when they, you know, because I'm into sports and I also go for debate and other things for the school, they pick me that I should come and sing and I tell them, see, I can't sing. And mm. they insisted, they put me in music class. I was doing my best, but I knew that I was just over giving out, but I knew I wasn't going to meet up with that standard. Okay. But when, the, when, the, when the, I had the opportunity like, to talk with the, my, my uh, music uh, teacher, I said, see, see, it is to dance, I will dance. But music, the voice is not just there. But I can't force it, it's not there. I'm going to spoil the, uh, the, the thing. And I think at the stage, you start getting what European way, like, maybe you don't want to do it. I can't do, do everything, I can't know all it all. So, back to your question is that there are people that have that talent in singing, doing sports, and uh, uh, my educational, uh, after the educational, they are perfect, they are good. So, there are some people that don't like sports. I come to people that don't like sports. I have, I have people that say, see, I, I just love watching sports. Let me be open, let me be clapping my hands for okay. you. Yeah. You get it? Yes. So people that, they forget, there's no one that will tell you that, I've seen a student that walked up and said, Ma, this is my daddy's school, let them take a picture and give me sports. Hmm. I said, okay, hmm. but, but I have to call him back. And I think with the guy is outside the country, he, you know, he's into sports, because he left like three years ago from high school. I have to call the guy and say, come, the first thing for a parent to give to school, for you to get a picture. Okay. So I will have to have to work it out. I will start working it out. The guy did well. And people were like, come coach, what's my I said, see, you need to understand some people. Don't when you say, hey, give me sports and take education. You never start giving the, you start shouting at that person. You, make, you will never get the best out of this person. Well, I sir. called him, and I was always shutting up on him. You know, you need to know that some things people think, you know, like some students, like maybe their relationship with their parents are not so cordial. 
Okay. They will answer, but once they answer to them, the information will bring out the best. So I go to combine it, hmm. and they will be the best. Then there are some very, very few that all they know is only sports. Yeah. Those, yeah. Are, those, those, those are so you have to manage them. Okay. Those they haven't get to learn Google. Okay. I think they are, they are, they are, they are moving. Okay. Is is a it's obvious and blessing that you're an expert on this field and um, you've used your years of um, understanding of combining sports and education. But you agree with me, except you um, tell me otherwise, that most of your schools that you, you teach softball and other sports and the student combine sports with education, most of them are all missionary, some of them are missionary schools and private schools. And is it... Is it um, and none of them, I don't think, except you tell me otherwise, none of them are, is a public school. Um, do, do you think the um, public schools have um, what it takes to also combine sports with education? Because the private schools excel more in the combination of the two than public schools. What, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, the public schools can, they can, so yeah, they can. They can, they have not been um, so opportune to take public school at a full time. I've, I think I've approached one or two of them. I've not been so opportunity to retake them because like the sports we do, you need to have a very, you know, the, the space needs to be well spatial. So and some of them even move out and join us at times um, at, at, at one of the private schools. Mm. Right down there, because yeah. Public schools, and let, let me tell you the truth, if, if you want people that will like do it and do it their very best, as long as they know what they are going to achieve, and you can talk with their parents, then public school can give you the best thing. Yeah. Uh, but but there, there are several challenges that public schools will face in trying to combine sports with education that, is, um, that the private schools do not face. I'm sure you are, you are aware of that. Like what? Uh, I, I, I didn't really get that. Like what? Yes, I said the challenges that public schools will face, the pupils in public schools will face, in combining sports and education, it's um, enormous than the challenges that is expected from a private student. Um, partially, I don't want to give in totally to that because there are some students from public schools. Maybe we are, when we are talking about when it has to do with um, uh, maybe them sponsoring themselves for other things, you know, like getting some things and fixing it well. Uh, yeah, it might be a little bit challenge from those from public schools. It might be a little bit challenge, but if you have a coach that also consider it not to just be the player, but sees you as a uh, user our own child too, I think you'll be good to do. And same as uh, applies to private schools too. If you want to join, you go ahead and do it. But in, in public school, I think um, if you came to their curriculum, it, it, it might be easier for you to flow and you need to like, I don't know how to put it, but I know that the major challenges from there will be in terms of um, little infrastructures. Yeah. Bless him. The reason why I'm saying this, I'm, 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 I'm emphasizing on the public school is that infrastructure, equipment, gadgets are important in combining sports with education. And most public schools yeah. We have around us in Lagos, some Lagos is fair enough in other states, they don't have the facility and the equipment, especially when the sport is an expensive sport. That's why I said that it, there might be hindrances for, for public school to have um, to combine sports with education. Okay, yeah, okay, for instance, uh, you know, everything that has to do with Lagos, of, uh, the equipment are not uh, easily sourced here. And it might cost some little fortune for one to actually have it. But I know there are, I know there are some individuals or let's say there are some groups that can also say, let me drop it. For me, any school I go to, the first thing I do is to drop equipment for them. Mm. And that's the way to tell them, let's do this together. Let's do this together. We can. It's expensive, but I'll drop it. I think that's just my only way to say, I want the best out of it. So even when I move to public school, I'm still going to drop equipment for them. Hmm. So what we're looking here, if you are dropping the equipment and the side needs to get one or two things, for instance, let, let me just say the internet, the value international passport, what will become of the parents? Who they want you to do everything? You know, there are things when you know that when you just like some people say that even in free town, free land, there's nothing not free. free. Yeah. 
Yes, so when you do some certain things, I, I have my English family, I, I have some things I need to get done. So when you do some certain things, you expect them to also, you know, respond positively. So maybe when it's not forthcoming, you might just like, oh, this one not too so serious. No, 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 no. Yeah, you well said and blessing. I'm sure it's um, obvious. Let, let's not look at um, issues. There's some sports that has a direct um, influence on education. Sports like chess, Scrabble, that's mental upliftment and development that um, can make the child understand and focus in school. What is the benefit of softball or participating in softball to education for the pupil? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, when they talk about sports, that will make one to be more focused. You talk about some boys. When you talk about sports, that will make one to be mentally alert. Talk about some boys. You know, there's this common saying in some ball, eyes on ball. That yes. means your eyes to be on the ball. At every point in time, your eyes to be on the ball. So that you know where the ball is going to. And if you can start looking at that ball, you know, you know when to hit, when to run, when to move, when to catch, when to slide, when to start. If you can, if you just put those little things there, you will be so sound academically. And it can be helping most of the students because even at times when people put you say, coach, you know when they are teaching us, I just apply the formula, eyes on board. Mm. You know, full concentration. And you, you, you get your target. And when you, when, when, when you are in the, when you're in the batting box to bat, you know, you, the, the, the attention you give to that, and you keep calculating, how will I get to this base? Where am I going from home state? Where am I going to first base? And where am I going to move so that I will not be tagged out? Hmm. Your, your mind, your calculation, how fast will you go? So when it comes back to them, you don't know, if I concentrate, if I focus, I put my eyes, you know, my attention, my memory, everything, fix it on this academic, I'm going to do wonderfully well. And I'm not most of them. Hmm. That was the that time you just say, a coach, I don't buy, I'll just my okay, you're yeah, good. But what's the best for? What's your great? And when you know when you need to move, that means you know when you read. The best time for you to read. You know, there are people that like reading just in the class, whether or not you're no noisy, they read. So you'll be able to know that, yeah, if I can stand this, and other people are shouting, clapping, and you are still concentrating, then no matter what people are doing, you must pass the exam. Hmm. But listen, uh, you're, you're obviously one of the top um, softball and coach in the country. Um, I've seen your profile, I've seen you teach, I've seen you many things and all that. But we know that um, softball is still a developing sport in this country. I've been able, you've been able to let schools embrace a sport that is not so popular. This is not football that you can easily tell them, oh, you get the ball, they get the field, and everybody comes, whether you know. This is not table tennis. This is not um, basketball. This is a sport that um, Nigeria is still developing. How are you able to um, tell schools to embrace such a developing sport? Okay. What we do, we have a what I do in that aspect, you know, letting school come to embrace it because most of the time when we, there, there are competitions in the country, they group us under optional sports. Just like you said, it, it, it's still developing, it's still coming up. But it has been here for over 30 years. And okay. I think we need to still push him more. Because I played when I was in high school. Okay. That was in my late 80s. So, well, in the late 80s, right? Yeah. So, I think um, one of the things I do, I, I think if I know you have a school, you're my friend, I'll discuss softball with you. Hmm. You're a friend to my friend, I'll discuss softball with you. Hmm. You're a friend to my friend, my friend, my friend, or whatever link, I'll discuss softball with you. Same environment, I'll discuss softball with you. And even when I move at times, when I'm going for things um, important, most times I just go with um, maybe the bat, the ball, you know. So I when I get the people will say, what is this? People will just say, I said, this baseball bat. Almost time, I just come in an outfit. You know, we have a set outfit, which is the best sport outfit worldwide. Mm. I stand to be correct. But you know, the, you know this regular thing we call face cap? This baseball cap. We own this. I want people just tell me, we are regular. I say, you're in America. You know, one good thing is just that in Nigeria, but you know, America, you know, you're the champion, America. the youngest. Yeah, so when you just mentor it together, that they play it there, they play it in other European countries, people are like, oh, wow, serious? I say, yeah, go good. 
then we start discussing it. Hmm. We start discussing it. And someone was just like, oh, let me have a tea. And I'm not just basing them, but I've been able to present it to other states, telling them about this beautiful day and its benefits. When you hear the benefits attached to this beautiful day, my brother, you want you play it. You play it because it's all around benefits. Some people have some people put calls across to me asking me how does this look like in softball? How does this look like okay? This, 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 I'll do a little story and I can see Google it, it will go and Google each other, it will help out. And if there is need for me to send board, there are people I will just need to go and buy board and send to and say, okay, take this ball, take this bag, take this glove, let's do it. And it's be going. But I know uh, in the shortest time, maybe in the nearest picture, uh, I think everybody will also know just the way they know um, basketball. I think so many people are coming to know um, softball. And with the help of few people in the media, uh, I think we'll, we'll be able to grow well, we'll, we'll move well. We want to give us the support to move on. About um, softball, you, you said so many interesting things. But we know there are still challenges. <laughs> Blessing, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you know that see challenges. If you look at um, the equipment, the baths, all its contained softball, it's expensive. It's something you cannot just say you are get going to the market and go and get it. No, and that's a major challenge that the sport is. What What do you think? And how do you get this your equipment? And how do you overcome these challenges? Okay, overcoming this challenge. This particular one concerning equipment, uh, I have a good news for you. Okay. Yeah. The good news is that they brought, they brought Nigeria, they decided to come in with equipment straight from the uh, United States of America okay. and distribute to as many people that are interested in the game. Hmm. So we are going to get the cost. So if you, if, if, you're, if you have people around you that want to do this game, that want to go into this game, yeah, just let you know, they put his reading equipment. So it's not just me buying and distributing now. Like you said, it's quite expensive. But they put and said that, yes, wherever we go, let's leave something there. You know, because when they, they looked around and said, wow, only one person cannot just be putting this every now and then. And they're going to bring it in large quantity. So by the time it gets to our country, we're going to spread it out. No. And I think I'll get to it. Okay. No, okay, what's the future, the future, the future of softball? You are there, you've been doing that for many years, you've you, you, you made a, a living of it, but what's the future of this sport? I think softball, the future of softball in the nearest future is going to be great and it's going to be a household thing. Because people are keen into it, whoever here is keen into it, uh, it's just like those days that uh, people were talking about Coca-Cola many, many years ago. And today everybody knows what Coca-Cola is. Coca-Cola is for those that drink it and those that like it. Or, or, or let me just say um, pop, pop, um, pop soda. Let me just use that word. Softball is becoming a household in gradual. And in the next future, it's going to be a great one. And everybody, I think every home will have a softball player in that family. Hmm. That's a big dream, blessing. Is that too it's achievable. Now, I, I, I met you in Badagri some, um, some um, weeks ago. When are we having, because, yeah. and it has to do with girls' involvement in, in, in this sport. Um, yeah. Tell us the difference between the softball and the baseball and what we practice now in this country. Okay, for softball, like, you know, between softball and baseball, softball, uh, like, let me say, back then, those days, you see female playing softball, male playing baseball. But it's not the same now. We have female baseball players, male softball players. So that's just it for now. It stands worldwide now. Then the difference between the two games, both are ball and bat games. But the difference between them is that the measurement, the diamond, you know the diamond game, the measurement for the for, for, for baseballers is 91 hours is 60. Uh, the ones that our own diamond is smaller than their diamond. And just very few things in the rules. The way you are standing, the way you want to stand and bat or don't want to hold it. But they are just very, just little things apart from the measurements. 
Uh, I think blessing. I was told that softball is for female, while baseball is for yeah. male. Yeah, then back then, yeah. But now, as I speak with you, we have female um, softball and baseball players. We have male. Uh, we have female baseball players and we have male softball players here. Yeah. But mainly, you see female softball, male baseball. But as I, I'm giving you the world standard as it stands today now. And you, and you said that you have a dream that every family, there will be a baseball player in every family in the country. Is there, is there a project or um, is that a, a program to achieve that? So we're starting um, seriously with the high school students and we have some common school students that are part of us too, in this school. And we, we are spreading the gospel and with this equipment, it makes our dreams come true. But by the time you visit all the states, we have, I think we should have like over 60% of everybody in the state playing it or knowing more about the game. And we have these competitions as we play, you have been very, you, you help for us, you know, and the uh, media aspect of the, the people, the writers, they come in, the papers aspect of it, they come in, they write and, uh, you know, push it out there. In the next is there. Everybody wants to like ask what is happening. Just like everybody like, um, color is on the way now. So they'll know that oh there's something called baseball and softball. It's mm. there. Let's go and play. Let's go and watch it. Like I told you, some people have taught me that some players that that that's not that are supposed to be players. Those things they just say, man, what are you supposed to let me just be softball fan? I'll follow you, I'll go for every tournament, but all I need to do is to applaud, you know, clap and sing for you people. I just love the game. I'll I'll get featured in softball like I go, just like they are the fans. So those who also will tell the story. So because by the time we are lecturing, we are training them, they need to be on the field. But because they don't have the full stamina, the energy to push. So, bl 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 blessing, before I let you go, you, you, you said so well, and I'm sure you've convinced a lot of our viewers across the globe that, yes, there's a possibility of combining sport with education, especially softball. What's the upcoming tournament? I mean, is there any tournament in place that you are organizing? Is there any tournament coming up? Uh, what, what, what's happening? Because um, we don't get to see softball by every corner. It's not basketball. It's not um, table tennis. We don't see it everywhere. So what, we, we have to let people know softball is going on before they know softball is going on. At least at this stage. Am I right? Yeah. So what 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 tournament yeah. what seminar what's going on as regards to okay. softball? Okay, let me use this seminar to invite you to Asaba Delta State okay. next month. Okay. We having uh, a full launching of uh, a project in softball, which I don't want to just unveil. It will maybe be like a surprise package for everyone. Okay. So and yeah, yeah, you can still keep it, but. But all I want to hear is that there's still several programs coming up to promote yeah. softball. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. And it's just next month. Next month. Okay. Um, to Okay. We, we, in yeah. what we've said, uh, blessing, we did not mention the government involvement. Have you ever encountered where, a, um, as the government of the day, whether at the local government level, the state government level, the federal level, but I know that international companies and um, always come for support in terms of kids. But what do you think has the government done in whatever area have they done to promote the sport beyond individuals like you and others that I know that support and promote the sport? Yeah, the government have come to it like uh, the one we did at uh, at um, State that to be in April. Uh, the state governments were involved. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the two things are apart. Uh, I think they gave us accommodation. Okay. And they allowed us to use their state as a member, which is okay. okay. And they, they, they did one or two things. I think that's okay. okay. But mainly, like you said, we have individuals. But we are trying to also meet the government to see. You, you and I know that our country for now, there is no money to support um, games now, of course. Hmm. So uh, we are praying God that the money will be available. So they, they, they did that at Bayesa. We are also speaking with other people in other states, and we know definitely they will, they will come up. But to tell you speaking, I want to also thank somebody that I've already been standing by us. Okay. Uh, uh, Ikukoma. 
uh, High Chief Dr. Thomas this is most the common one of whom they say the man has been wonderful. Okay. He will sponsor, he will do everything. I want to say God bless him. Okay. Not minding when the government will tell us they will do it. And if they are not forthcoming, this man will single handedly handle everything, the feeding, the transport, and everything that you can think of. So thank you and God bless him. Okay, yeah. So we also want to thank you, bless him for your time. I mean, it was a short time notice for you but because you're an expert in this area um it wasn't something difficult for you blessing wogu we thank you for your time and for promoting softball in nigeria now what do you have, what do you want to talk to our parents guardians viewers watching us from africa about softball in ensuring that um they can be part or encourage their children to be part of the sport Okay, let me first thank you, Mudashiro, for giving me the opportunity to come on to talk with everyone to say this to the air. Yeah, for our parents, our guardians, the viewers, everybody, I want to just tell you that there is great benefit in softball. Make sure there is a softball player in your home or a baseball player in your home. You will never regret doing that. It's nice. It will help you to organize your home. All these baseball players, softball players, they are great. They are neat, they organize things. And I want you all to be well organized. Just have one. Yes. Thank you, Thank you very much and blessing. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Yes, you're we'll welcome. Thank you. We'll be speaking with Blessing Wogu, who has developed so much um, in regards to softball. She has been promoting softball, baseball in every nooks and cranny of the country, from Masaba to Lagos to Enugu to schools in and out of the country. And we only hope as a media practitioner and a, um, a station like ours that promotes not so popular sport, which are as much as possible to let our viewers know that it is not just about football. It is not just about basketball. It's about a sp sport called singing bed. It's about a sport called softball. It's about a sport called dambi. It's about other unknown sports. It's also about cricket. Those cricket is popular enough that but there are certain sports that don't get to get um, media attention and that's more reason why you always have to keep your time with us plus spot every 5 p.m nigerian time to let you know some sports you don't know that exists so it's on a good note today from away from um combining sports and education tomorrow will be a fantastic day across the globe the euro 2024 is around very close. Jamin will be hosting this wonderful tournament. And um, we want you to have, as we round up for the show today, the 2024 great qualifying goals. Goals that made it to Euro 2024 is available for you to enjoy yourself. And this I'm going to drop the cutting for today. I'm Muda Shiyoshitu. Thank you. Same time tomorrow, we'll be giving you all what you need to know in the world of sport. Bye for now. <laughs>